Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Jetstream crossbars. These are going to be quiet, low profile crossbars that let you mount accessories and carriers on the roof of your vehicle. You can pair these with Yakima towers and fit kits to create a complete roof rack for your vehicle. Towers and fit kits are sold separately. When it comes to the bar, we're looking at an asymmetric jet flow shape. This is going to create an extremely aerodynamic roof rack system. One of the most unique features about the bar is running the full length of the bar, there's going to be a raised ridge right here. That's going to be the built-in wind ridge. That's going to help control airflow, which is going to dramatically reduce wind noise and vibration. And then the aero style bar is going to reduce drag, which is going to help maintain your vehicle's fuel efficiency. These are going to be full length crossbars, so they're going to maximize space for carriers and accessories. Each bar is going to come with two end caps, gives the bar a nice clean finished look. Now one of the things I want to point out about the end caps is that they're not going anywhere. Uh, what Yakima did to prevent these from coming off during travel is they have these built-in large tabs that actually engaged a specific slot in the bar. So if I try to pull this off on my own and try to wiggle it off, I can't get it off. What I have to do is I have to pry that tab to disengage the end cap from the bar. So right here there's going to be a small cutout. And then on the tab right here on the end cap there's going to be a raised area. Those two pieces meet, they engage, and that's going to be what holds the end cap onto the bar, so you don't have to worry about losing that. Now these are going to be very versatile crossbars. These are going to accommodate a lot of accessories. Uh, the most typical accessories that you'd put on here are going to be your clamp-on or uh, strap-around accessories, but there's also going to be a top channel that runs the full length of the bar, so this will receive your channel mount accessories as well. The strip right here, this is going to be Yakima's rubber smart fill strip right here in the top of the channel. That's going to allow for easy installation of your channel mount accessories. So in order to get a channel mount accessory mounted, what we would need to do is we would need to, <coughs> excuse me, we would need to remove an end cap. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that one off. Also what I did for demonstration purposes is I actually removed a channel mount bar from one of our roof mount accessories, uh, a bike rack that we have here in the shop, because I just want to show you how easy it is to get this installed. All you have to do is you have to push down the smart fill strip, and then you can move your accessory, you can slide it to wherever you want along your bar. A couple neat features about the smart fill strip is you don't have to worry about cutting or trimming any of the rubber. Um, all you have to do is push it down and then adjust it to where you need it. So that's a really nice design of the unit. Just push it down, slide in your accessory, no trimming or cutting required. And then the smart fill strip is going to conform around the channel mount bar, which is going to help reduce wind noise during travel, or it's going to help reduce any additional noise that you may have um, from hauling your accessories on your roof rack. So it's a really nice design, very easy to use. Another neat thing I like about it is once your accessory is removed, you really can't ever tell that it was in place. It conforms back to the um, kind of the stock height, just like it is when you move it out of the box. So really nice design, and I really like that feature about these bars. We're going to go ahead and flip it over and take a look at the underside. A few things I want to talk about here. We're going to have the bottom channels. That runs the full length of the bar. That's going to allow for easy installation on your Yakima towers. Um, it's going to fit baseline, ridgeline, skyline, and timberline towers. Your towers are sold separately, but it is going to come with four base clips to get secured or to get these attached to your towers. So it's really nice that they include these. They just slide right into the bottom portion here, and then the hardware that comes with your towers uh, is how you would get that fully installed. Another neat thing I want to point out is that along the bottom of the bar, running from this point here to this point here. We're going to have etched measurements on the bottom of the bars. These are going to help center the rack on your vehicle. So if you can see that right there, I'll try to tilt it so you can get a good angle. But there's just going to be small etched measurements that run along right here. And again, that's going to help center the rack on your vehicle. So it's really nice that those are kind of built into the bar. It's included and it makes it much easier to get these installed on our vehicle. Now another neat thing I want to point out is that we're looking at a full length channel.
That's going to allow you to upsize and use longer bars if you desire to do that. Um, on a lot of roof racks or a lot of crossbars, the area where your tower uh, or your mount would install is only a small portion of the bottom of the bar. So a lot of bars are just going to have a gap from the end to about right here and then you can mount that tower anywhere right here. What Yakima does is they make that channel the full length of the bar. It's got the nice strip in there that you can cut and trim so that way you can take up any space that you may have. Um, especially when you mount your towers you can cut the strip and then place the strip on each side of the tower to maintain that nice quiet ride during travel. But the channel that runs the full length of the bar, again, it's going to allow you to upsize and use longer bars to carry more gear on your roof rack without running out of mounting space for your towers. So it's a really nice design of the Yakima Jetstream crossbars. Now these bars are made from a lightweight aluminum construction. They're very strong, they're very durable, and the black bars are going to have a black powder coat finish which is going to be highly resistant to rust and corrosion. So they're going to look nice for a long time. Um, I do want to point out kind of the internal construction of the bar. We're looking at a really nice design. We're talking about exceptional bar strength. So I want to show you, you can see all the way through the bar there, but all the way through we're looking at an internal jet truss extrusion. That's going to provide a lot of bar strength for these particular jet stream crossbars. Now the width of each bar is going to measure three and one eighth of an inch wide. The height at the thickest point is going to be one inch tall. Um, when it comes to the weight capacity, we're looking at 165 pounds per pair. These bars are available in 50 inch, 60 inch, and 70 inch lengths. And Yakima is going to cover the bar with a limited lifetime warranty. I'm going to place the end caps back on. They're very quick and easy to get reinstalled. They just snap right into place. Again, the base clips to get these mounted onto your Yakima towers are included. That's going to do it for today's look at the Yakima Jetstream crossbars.